Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do an update on this Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation because things have gotten pretty interesting. Yeah, you're going to have to leave this one because I haven't been following it like you have. Yeah, I, I really, we haven't been doing a lot of videos on Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. It is a messy situation. There are a lot of other YouTubers out there that cover it more in depth. But uh, this, this really kind of struck out, stuck out to me that uh, apparently Amber Heard was lying about donations she made to charity and it could undermine her case completely. In fact, other media outlets are calling it out, including left-leaning media outlets, saying that Amber Heard effectively lied and said she donated a bunch of money to charity and she didn't. Well, that's um, kind of shit. And she lied under oath uh, during the proceedings. You know, during the uh, the lawsuit with the son, she said she had already donated seven million dollars to the ACLU on one hand, and then Children's Hospital on the other. And they can't get a straight answer out of the ACLU, but they found out that the Children's Hospital is coming up short so much so that they sent a letter asking her where the rest of the money was. Right, and and from what you were saying, her so part of the reason they sided with her was because they said if she was if she was after money, why did she donate all this money? Yes, that she didn't actually donate yes according to to these new sources yeah so we're going to talk about that before we get into it please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we're almost 169,000. Yeah, almost 170. Woo. yeah so thank you so much for the continued support it's appreciated again we don't talk much about the johnny depp amber heard situation we have opinions on it uh for sure uh my personal opinion is i think johnny depp got a bad she, My personal opinion is even if he did do things she said he did, there's enough evidence that things that she did and from past relationships, other women even came out and said that she yeah. was abusive when she was with them and things are, that it wouldn't, I just don't think it's fair that they keep like, they're, they're all saying like she's innocent and gets to keep having gigs and he's automatically guilty because he's a guy when there's more evidence against her. So what I learned, I learned if you're a woman, you can abuse whomever, including other women and it's okay because you're a woman. That's pretty, the message you're sending. Pretty much. I mean, there's talk of Amber Heard getting a spinoff Mara series and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, Johnny Depp's career has been burnt to the ground. Uh, mm -hmm. He got kicked out of the Fantastic Beasts by Warner Brothers. It looks like Disney is not going to hire him back for Captain Jack. And all of this because of these uh, allegations that he was a quote-unquote wife beater. But there have been allegations that she was abusive too with evidence and other ex- in his relationships in the past, came out and said he did not yep. abuse them. Her relations in the past, some of them have already had. There was like, wasn't there police reports and things that they, they that she had abused them? Yes. So yeah. why is one more believable than the other? That's what that's where I'm confused. Because one is a woman who's in like Flynn with the uh, the Me Too movement, Times Up movement, mm -hmm. and the other one is well, one of the highest paid white actors, male the, actors in Hollywood. Me Too movement was actually legitimately about what they say they're about, then they would be calling her bad behavior out. You would think, but it, it's about women being abused by men. Uh, not... What about when you're abusing other women? Well, that got glossed over. I'm just saying, if you're if you're going yeah. on about women shouldn't be abused, which I agree with, women shouldn't be abused. No. Um, but this person was known to abuse other relate other you know in their relationships with other women. Those women too. How is that any different than Johnny Depp? That is a damn good question that you're not going to get a straight answer to. Uh, so the story is Johnny Depp's a wife beater and uh, he smacked her around even though we see all kinds of evidence that it was the other way around mm -hmm. that she was actually abusive and that he you know, lost the tip of his finger because of things heating up and all of this. Um, and but even I, if you go with he said, she said, there's evidence against her just as much as there's really evidence, mm -hmm. well, actually more so, than there seems to be against him. Why is she automatically uh, believable and he's not? That's what I'm asking. Well, I mean, there's no answer. It's rhetorical. You, you already know. You already know the I know answer. The answer. Boobs. Boobs. There we go. So uh, anyway, this is what's going on. We're going to give you kind of a bird's eye view. We don't follow this day to day, but it was pretty interesting to hear that she uh, potentially lied under oath, which could certainly help in his appeal. Of course, Johnny Depp um, sued the son. He lost that case. Uh, he did lose it. But now that case wasn't. Okay, people keep meaning that means he's guilty. That's not what that was about. You better clarify that because they're like, well, he lost, so he's obviously guilty. That's, that's what not the, what it meant. That's what the uneducated media is saying. And it, it blows my mind. It's like, are you guys reporters or what? You don't even know what you're talking about. He sued the Sun because he said it was defamatory, what they said, based on what Amber Heard was telling them that he was. She wrote a thing for them. Didn't she write a story yeah, like and all that? Yeah, and they ran it. Yeah. And then they, then they, went, they went with it. They backed it up. 
his whole thing was his career had suffered because of this that because they called him a wife beater he was losing gigs now he is losing gigs and some people held off on firing him until he lost which warner brothers did they went literally as soon as he uh, lost the lawsuit. Which was about slander, defamation. It wasn't about whether he he abused her or not. Right. There both were accusations against both of them. It was about did her did her accusations damage his career? Right. And I'm sorry, they did. And at well, the time I mean, he wasn't he was still had jobs. So they would look at it, did you lose jobs? No, you still have your jobs. So did you lose the case? Because and then as soon as the case is over, then, then they took the fired. jobs away from him, which seems awfully set up. But, you yeah. know, that's what it was about. It wasn't about that he legitimately, you know, that's not the way, it is what it isn't. It's not like what they're, they're spinning it as. All right. So now fast forward. So part of the reason that uh, Amber Heard, you know, while well, she won and basically he lost was that the uh, the judge who ruled against Depp said that uh, Amber Heard's donation of, of $7 million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger. And she made a big point of talking about how she was going to donate $7 million to charity. It was a $7 million settlement between her and, and Johnny Depp. Um, but they're saying now that uh, she did not do that. In fact, uh, she lied about it under oath. They said a check for $100,000 arrived at the Children's Hospital. That was one of the two charities, right? Uh, but not from her. It came from Johnny Depp himself. Um, so this is, this is interesting. Here are the bullet points from the Daily Mail, which broke the story. A lot of people were running with it. It's very convoluted, but she said she was going to split the $7 million settlement between the ACLU and the uh, the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. And she gave them, a sm I guess, a small amount up front or whatever. And then she never gave them any more money. But so obvious she wasn't giving them more, more money that they wrote and said, where's, mm -hmm. excuse me, not to be rude, but where's the other, you know, however many millions of dollars you publicly promised to give us. And it wasn't that she said she was going to do it. She said past tense. Uh, she was already responsible for seven figures and donations to charitable causes. Uh, she had given that money. That's what she said. Yeah. yeah, she said she had given that money. So if she lied under oath and said she gave that money to charity, and then it turns out she didn't, then that sort of undermines the whole damn thing. And that's so, probably say, well, I thought my accountants took care of it and they didn't or something like that. Well, watch. Johnny Depp apparently took care or was taking care of it. They were sending the checks directly to um, the but children's But she hospital. could argue and say that he t she told him to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Um, this is coming from the, we'll, we'll read about the Daily Mail. They broke it. I'm not reading the whole thing. It's really freaking long. But they said that uh, Johnny Depp is accusing ex-wife Amber Heard of pocketing the massive $7 million settlement from their divorce and repeatedly lying about giving it all to charity, according to the Daily Mail. She declared she didn't want Depp's money after their explosive 2016 breakup and vowed to split the payment between the two charities. Again, the ACLU and the uh, Children's Hospital. Children's Hospital, stealing money from a children's hospital. But the actor's lawyers believe the altruistic gesture was a sham and have spent the past year chasing the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles and the ACLU to find out how much they actually received. The ACLU has refused to cooperate with multiple subpoenas. Well, that sounds very interesting, doesn't it? Like if, it does. if she was on the up and up, and, and you know, why not just say so? Right. Uh, documents produced by the hospital and seen exclusively by DailyMail.com suggest it only received $100,000, oh. way short of the promised $3.5 million gift. In fact, bosses at the LA Kids facility, which cares for sick youngsters regardless of health insurance or their ability to pay, became so concerned they wrote to her in June of 2019 to ask if the pledge will or will not be fulfilled. Uh, Depp's lawyers believe the correspondence is the smoking gun that proves Heard was lying when she boasted about the giveaway, not only in media interviews, but in recent evidence she gave to a London court, so lying under oath. Um, here's a check from Edward White, who is, I believe, the CPA for Johnny Depp. And it's actually made out with Johnny Depp's name on. So Johnny Depp kicked over the $100,000. So she's claiming it wasn't even her. Yeah, she didn't even do it. Um, so this is what was written or written uh, to her from the Children's Hospital. Dear Ms. Heard, I'm following up on the correspondence that Children's Hospital Los Angeles Foundation received on August 2016, which we were notified by Edward White that a $3.5 million pledged gift had been made in your honor. In the correspondence, see enclosure, it states the first of multiple 
schedule installments to honor the full amount of Ms. Hurd's thirty or three point five million dollar pledge gift. Uh, since the installment, we have not received any further installments. I'm inquiring if you have knowledge of it and uh, should expect further installments on your behalf, or if the pledge will not be fulfilled. I appreciate any insight on this matter and can be reached at you know here's our contact information. Uh, so yeah, this is um, very interesting because the judge Andrew Nickel cited the gesture while deciding the case in the son's favor and said her donation of the seven million dollars to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger but she didn't actually donate no it sounds like she gave a hundred thousand dollars and that was it right and uh and i think that was more on on depth's uh i guess it was depth's doing as i understand it so they tried to backpedal and say that uh she had like a lot of legal fees and that she's going to She's going she to honor this. she said she did. And she that's one of the she reasons did. she won. Right. Because she said that she had already done it. Right. That's the problem. Yep. Um, so that's the thing. She said she already did it. Uh, she was going, you know, and yeah. So, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, she lied about that. Uh, it's called perjury. I mean, this is, there are a lot of news sites that are picking up on this now. Um, there was that Miaw again, which again is a far, and they, they're like, why did Amber Heard lie that she gave $7 million to charity when she didn't do it? Cause she didn't. Yeah. Cause apparently she didn't. And, and she so, lied about that. What else did she lie right. about? Right. And you it's know? like, well, you can't say I'm going to get this money. And they say, whoopsie, my legal fees were so bad. And then she turned around and they, and apparently they used it in court to, to, for her defense. Mm -hmm. For something she hadn't actually allegedly done. She said she's going to make good on it, but she she's said she already did. going to make good on it. Yeah. Right. It was from four years ago, right? Or yeah. whatever, a couple years ago. She got she was, caught. That's she was going to make, make good yeah, on it. Yeah. Um, well, it's been years and she didn't. And then, you know, whatever happens, happens. But if they're going to use that as evidence, you have to at least have followed through. If you're going to use that to get out of a, a legal proceeding, you should have at least followed through. Mm-hmm. So it's not looking too good for her, uh, you know, I think the damage has been done, though. And I said that I think the damage has been done to, to Depp's well, career. That's, well, that's what he was suing over. It was yeah. the damage done to his career. At the time, he was still in Fantastic Beast. He was still being looked at for pirates. They were like, basically like, well, you haven't lost anything. You're still, your career is still okay. So, and, she, and she's not a gold digger. So why would she make this up? Because she gave all this money away. So we're going to, you know, say we're, we're going to side with her. Except she didn't, she didn't give all the money away. Mm -mm. And as soon as they, they sided with her, they immediately, all his acting gigs were gone. Yeah, so now he, I mean, honestly, he, yeah. He does. There he, is damage. He, it is, it is. He damaging. lost the case. He, That's why he didn't win before. Yeah, so this is, this is crazy. Now it's provable. And, you know, for all this uh, talk of uh, Amber Heard, you know, being with Me Me Too and Time's Up and all this, uh, she's actually hurting their case. The words of these women ones are behind the thing where they were like supposed to be the other charity and then that money was gone for that too. Well, there is that. So we did a video or, uh, you know, earlier in the let's see, was it last month? I think it was last month, talking about Time's Up, and it turned out that they spent a good chunk of that money, these Hollywood types, they spent a good chunk of that money on salaries and luxury spa days and all this other garbage that wasn't related to actually helping victims. So maybe it's just par for the course. Maybe there's a the whole know. group of them. It seems just, like an awful lot of, we want we want the, the you know accolades, we want the thumbs ups. We want all the backpats for doing this stuff. But we don't actually want to do the stuff? You mean like the rest of Hollywood? Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what it seems like to me. Meanwhile, Johnny Depp would dress as Captain Jack and go to actual children's hospitals mm -hmm. and entertain them. And he didn't have to do it. He wasn't getting paid for it. He'd show up at the parks a lot of times, too, just to, to yeah. surprise to surprise fans and the Pirates Ride and stuff. Just because he could. Just, yeah. Yeah. And I she, think if I could, I'd be doing it too, you know? You know, so It'd this is fun. this is uh, not looking good. Um, this builds a better picture of, of who exactly you're dealing with. But again, sh there have been virtually no uh, repercussions on her career. And Johnny Depp's is effectively over at this point. Mm -hmm. And again, so. it's, it's unfair. Because even, you know, you, it's like automatically everything she's ever done wrong is suddenly ignored. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there, you know, if, if, if any of it's true on either side, there's still stuff on her side, too, that why isn't she being held accountable for her bad behavior? Well, I think she she needs to be. I think, yeah, yeah I think if you're, you know, I, I don't think it should be a gender based thing. If you did shitty things, you should be held accountable for it. Whether you're a dude or, you know, male or female or you're non-binary or whatever, you do shitty things, you do shitty things. And you shouldn't get extra special treatment just because of what you identify as or what you have between your legs or whatever. 
Uh, so I think there is there is going to be uh, some kind of a day of reckoning. I don't think Johnny Depp is gonna, ever going to have his career back intact as it was before, but maybe he can at least save some face and people won't look back on it and be like, oh yeah, here's a whatever, whatever, because they'll, they'll have this evidence that Amber Heard was... Well, I think if Disney does do what they're going to do with pirates and would make it with, you know, make it all girls and, mm. and all that load of crap and try to push the sexism thing there. And, you know... If they, if they and if, if Warner Brothers goes and does a Mara sequel and all that or spinoff, they're not going to make money. People aren't going to come. No. I'm just going to say it like it is. People aren't going to come. Nope. Uh, there, there's over a million, a million signatures trying to get her removed from Aquaman too. Uh, she is despised by a lot of people. So I mean, the damage might have been done. It might be just low key, like her stuff doesn't perform and she just gets phased out because nobody wants to, to take a chance on her because nobody's going to go pay to see her movies. Right, right. and so. all I'm saying is if, if you did something shitty, it should be equitable. Yep. If she did shitty things and he did shitty things, that the punishment should be equitable, not just she gets off because she's a woman. Yes, that is the point. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.